general so many people has asked question to dada bhagwan and general explanation is given but there is a depth how finely minutely subtle level starting of karma how result of karma they have to suffer who is suffering very detail in other book also it is given so here we will continue our science of karma <coughs> The Science of Karma, page 52, heading, we do good but the reward is bad. Questioner, if the consequence of our doing good is bad, does it mean that the bad karmas that we did in our previous life have cancelled the effect of the good karma? Dada Shri, yes they do. If we plant corn and it thrives and grows tall, then when our bad karmas come to fruition and the last rainfall does not come, the crop withers away. But if our merit karma is strong enough, the corn will mature into a good crop. That is why you must do good karma. Otherwise, look for liberation. Take one of the paths. Either find a way out of this world or do good karmas forever. This is very important. Do good karma. And otherwise, think for liberation. Because, but when we do good karma, but good is always this is duality. So something one percent, ten percent, twenty percent bad karma is going to happen behind that good karma. And happen here, the person is doing good, still ultimate result is not getting. It goes to bad result. So, in past he has charged some good karma, some bad karma also. So, when bad karma gives effect, it nullifies the result of good karma also. So, best ultimate thing, find out liberation, how to liber liberate this world. When we charge any not new karma and we finish all discharge karma with equanimity then only we can liberate from this world but humans cannot do good karmas forever they will undoubtedly end up on the wrong path they will always encounter bad company questioner what is the thermometer for recognizing good karma and bad karma dada shri when good karmas come into effect, we feel good and the atmosphere is peaceful. And when the bad karmas come into effect, we feel uneasy and uncomfortable. Heading, what goes, what goes with you after death? See, in fact, when we help others, automatically inside we will feel happiness, inner peace. If we hurt others, at the same time, by reaction, we may feel inner unhappiness. So if it is good or bad, inside we have to find out what result comes. Otherwise, when we feel I am happy with this karma, but is there anybody gets hurt, then this is whatever we are doing is not good karma. Personally, we feel happiness as well as nobody should hurt, then it is called as a good karma. And bad karma, anybody may hurt or inside we feel bad, is also bad karma. But in ignorance, this type of karma is going to charge, good or bad. So, ultimate thing, person get self-realization, then only he can come out from charging of new karma. Heading. What goes with you after death? Questioner. Does one have to experience the results of good and bad karma when he takes on another life? Dada Shri. He has to experience it there in the next life. At the time of death, the Shuddhatma, the pure self, goes there into the next life. 
Along with the self go the good and bad karmas in the form of a plan, which is called the causal body. The subtle body, which is the electrical body, also follows. All these accompany the self. Nothing mm. else goes Pure with it. Soul with electrical body and causal body. And physical body remains here while the time of death. But causal body, electrical body and pure soul goes in next life. According to causal body, he will get father and mother and effect of new karma will start when he takes birth. So according to causal body, he will get new body, father, mother and everything according to causal body. And soul remain as it is. It is a in presence of soul, but due to ignorance of soul, ego gets generated and ego is charging new karma while suffering of past karma. Again he will take new birth, again from causal body it will turn to effective body and ego will suffer from birth till death all discharge karma. And due to ignorance of pure soul again same thing happened, charging of new karma. The cycle is going on and on. Questioner, does one receive human birth over and over, or is there also a birth perhaps in another life form? Dada Shri, one goes to every life form from here. As of now, about 70% of humans here will go to the animal kingdom. Therefore, from the human form, one can go into the animal form, to celestial form, or even to hell, and then back into the human form. He becomes whatever he binds, causes. People nowadays bind karmas worthy of the animal life, do they not? Questioner. Many are doing animal-like karmas indeed. Dada Shri. Their reservations have already been made and the tickets have been issued. What is the point of criticizing those who cheat, lie, and exploit others when they have already got their passage to the animal kingdom booked and confirmed? This is a bad time. Kalyu. So in this era, people maximum their, their mind will change, their intellect will show negativity, and how to make money by hurting others, by cheating others. Like that, they are doing bad work, or bad karma. And then bad karma will charge in this life, that will go, comes in effect, and they have to take animal life. So in this time, Dada Bhagavan says, more than 70% people will go to animal life. Heading, aimless wandering in the four life forms. Questioner. Do humans go to a lower life form? Dada Shri. From the human form, they can even go to the celestial form and become one of the topmost devas. And if they go lower, they may even end up in the worst, most hated place possible. It is only in the human form that one binds karmas. No other life form bind karmas. In other life forms, they only experience the effects of their karma. In the human form, one causes new karmas and also experiences effects of past karmas. He does both. And that is why it is possible for a person to go to any of the four major life forms. These are celestial, human, animal, and hellish life forms. The cows and all other animals we see, and the devas too, only experience the karma effects. They do not bind karmas. Questioner. But humans for the most part do not do good karmas. Dada Shri. The present time cycle, which is characterized by evil and despair, is rampant with generally bad karma. Questioner. So here new karmas are being bound? Dada Shri. They are being bound day and night. One keeps binding new ones and experiencing the old ones. Questioner, is there a better life than this anywhere else? Dada Shri, nowhere. This is as good as it gets. 
human life is the topmost it is if we if we use better way then we will get higher stage in human life otherwise in lower stage animal or bird life also has to go so human life is the best they can charge new karma they can they have to finish past discharge karma also but in other three life animal celestial or hell hell in that they have to finish their karma only discharge karma they have to finish they have to suffer all discharge karma and when they finish all discharge karma again they will come in human form in from where he go to other life again he will come in the same place he will charge new karma and again development will take place there are two directions of progress from here here if you have a debt which means that you have bound bad karma you would have to go to the animal kingdom to pay it off if your debt were excessive you would have to take birth in hell and settle it there before you return to the human life if you accomplish good karmas here then you become a more elevated human being and live an entire life of happiness when that is over you will either return to the same state or go into the celestial form where you will enjoy the benefits of your credits once the credit is used up you end up back here in the human form questioner is the human lifespan longer than any other life forms dada shri no not at all the celestial beings have a lifespan of 100000 years questioner you have to finish all your karmas first before you get a chance to become a celestial being is that not so dada shri no it is nothing like that if someone is a superhuman then he will definitely become a celestial being a superhuman is someone who instead of enjoying his own happiness gives it away to others such people go to the celestial level questioner how can you give happiness to others when you yourself are not happy dada shri that is the reason why you cannot do that there are however some rare people but these are very few and far between in past eras 4 to 5% of the human population attained celestial levels in this era 2 to 4 in 10 million go there in this era you are wise if you do not give misery to others if you don't give misery to others you will come back to the human level into a wealthy family with all the material comforts here again one begins the process of binding karmas through cheating and stealing becoming worthy of a bestial life form questioner then what law governs this cycle dada shri the one who is destined for lower life forms does not get caught for his bad deeds but the person destined for higher life forms gets arrested for the smallest offense in this way he is stopped immediately and his coming life changes before he gets on the wrong path who does nature assist naturally this is happening he is doing bad karma immediately he will catch up and nature will help him to go higher stage that's why he he will, people will find out he is doing wrong and he will also suffering take place and he will stop doing bad karma and somebody he wants means nature wants that that person goes to lower life then he may not be catch by people is doing bad and bad and bad work again and again and again then he will go to lower life so this is natural principle to whom person he wants to, means nature wants to that person higher stage or lower stage according to that will happen who does nature assist nature helps the heavy karmas become heavier and the light karmas become lighter the lighter ones rise to a higher life form and the heavier ones sink to the lower life forms that is the law of nature the one who has never stolen before gets caught as soon as he steals for the first time whereas the hardcore thief never gets caught because his karmas are heavy 
Heading, Only Humans Find Karma. Questioner, is there another life form other than the human where less karmas are bound? Dada Shri, there is no binding of karma in other life forms. It is only here in the human form that karmas are being bound. Moreover, in places where no karmas are being charged, they ask, why are we in this prison? A place where karmas are bound is actually called freedom because here there is a choice. The other three levels are all jails because there is no choice. They have to suffer karma, whatever good or bad karma is charged in human life, they will finish in that life, just like a prison. Questioner, is it only in the human life form that karmas are bound, including the good ones? Dada Shri, both good and bad karmas are bound here. The humans bind karma. If they cause harm or misery to people, they go to the animal form or a life in hell. If their karmas give happiness to others, then they return to the human life or go to the celestial level. So the life level depends on the type of karma bound. Once the level is decided, one has to go through that level, experience the effects, and return to the human form. That's why Dada says, don't hurt anybody through your speech or mind or action. Because if you hurt, then bad karma will charge and have to go lower life. And if we, somebody may hurt, and if we do prati karma, then also our bad karma will vanish away, and we will not go to lower life. <coughs> Only humans have the right to bind karma, no one else. Those who have this right must wander through all the four life forms. If they do not do karmas at all, not an iota of cause karma, they are liberated from this cycle. One can attain liberation only in the human form. There is no other place from which one can attain liberation. Have you ever seen anybody not doing any karma? Questioner, no, I have not. Dada Shri, all these animals you see, they all eat and drink and fight, and still they do not bind karmas. Likewise, it is possible for a human being not to bind any karma while living. This happens when they do not become the doers of the karma and remain as the sufferer of past karmas. When they come to me and receive this knowledge of self-realization, they become free from all doership of karma, and thereafter only the experiencing of previously created karma remains. The ego is the doer of karma. And after Nyanvidhi, self-realization, the doership will go because who is the doer? That knowledge we are getting. And who am I? That knowledge we are getting. And if we remain in that knowledge by practicing five agnas, then doership will go and charging of new karma will stop. This is science, this is principle. If we are not doer of discharge karma, and we will finish all discharge karma with equanimity. So automatically charging of new karma will stop. And ultimate liberation will take place when we finish all discharge karma with equanimity. Heading, the balance of eight lifetimes. Questioner, whenever a living being goes into a life form where it does not bind karma, but simply goes through the discharge effects of karma, how does that living being acquire the next life? Dada Shri, there is a vast area. When a human leaves from here, he may reincarnate as a cow and experience the life of a cow, after which he may be born as a goat. It is not definite that he will be a goat. It can be anything depending on his account. It depends on the causes. He may even be born as a donkey. After 200 years or so of such wandering and paying off the debt from his karmas, he takes birth again in the human form. Anywhere else, other than the human level, one is transported from one life form to another without cause karma. 
The process of taking different life forms is from the causes created in the human life form. The discharge may happen in a variety of other life forms, and it is not necessary to return to the human life level. It happens because all the karmas have been experienced. These causes are in the form of layers. One layer is shed in each subsequent life form. When all the layers are gone and eight lives have been completed, he then comes back to the human form. At the most, it takes eight lives of wandering about in other life forms before one can return to the human form. That is the law of nature. This is law of karma. Maximum eight life in animal kingdom and again come to the human. Or say one life in Devagati celestial, again come in the human. Or one life in hell, again come in the human. Or in human also he can take new birth and he has to finish discharge karma and due to ignorance he is charging new karma. In other th three places he is not charging any new karma but he has to finish all discharge karma suffering. So maximum eight life in animal and again come back in human. The balance of karma worthy of the human form stays with him wherever he goes, even if he goes to the celestial form. It is because of this balance that he is able to return to the human form. Keeping aside this balance, all other karmas are discharged through experience. He is on say, say development mile from zero, means one mile to hundred mile. Hundred is a say total liberation. So somebody is at 25 mile, then he is charging some karma, he has to finish in Devgati and come back to human. Again on 25 mile he will come and development will take place. On 27 mile he is charging new bad karma, he will go to animal life and all finish animal life and again come to 27 mile. Again he will develop his development. According to development he will go, but so means uh, in human life that balance karma means when he finish ego and he attain self realization then only that balance karma will finish. Otherwise, balance karma remain as it is, and development is taking place. Questioner, after returning to the human form, how does his life function? Does it function on his bobs, causes from last human life? Based on what karma does his life function now? Dada Shri, he has with him a balance of human karmas. The balance is there, but if a debt is incurred, bad karma, then you have to go and take care of it before you can return. If one has acquired a credit, then he must experience that before returning. The balance remains with you and it never gets used up. When does it get used up? It is used up when the doership goes away. Only then can you be liberated. The doership will never go away unless the ego goes. The ego is the doership. If the ego is there, you experience your karmas elsewhere and return back to where you were before. Suppose somebody is in grocery store. So he has stock of all things. He has some balance in bank, cash. He, he Suppose he is doing some bad cheating to people and he caught, then they will send him in a prison, jail. So for six months. So he will, all this grocery store, grocery store will close down and for six months he will go in prison. Then after finishing, jail, he will come in a store and he will start his business because of that all stock, cash, bank balance, everything is there. Then he earn money and he will go to say two week vacation, Easter vacation, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore and after finishing two weeks again he will come in a store. So like that 
all stock cash cash money bank balance everything is there on that that due to that stock that uh, client will come and they will purchase items and his rotation of money will going on so like that if he do bad karma he has to finish in life animal life or anything he is doing good karma he has to finish in devagati and come back to where the he has charge new karma again same place in human life questioner upon returning to the human form from other life forms where do you take birth for example are you born as a fisherman or a king dada shri your life resumes at the level you were at when you left the last human form to pay your debts or to enjoy your credits this is just like returning home after completing all the necessary shopping in the same way the human life is the home you have to come home and when the ego comes to an end you do not even have to stay in this world liberation happens when the ego stops the ego is not used in any other life forms in the experience of the effect karma the ego is not used and so no karmas are bound the cows and oxen do not have egos a horse may appear to have an ego but it is the ego that is being discharged it is not a true ego it is because of the ego that you are here when it is gone you will be liberated ego two type of ego one charge ego one discharge ego after gnan vidhi a charge ego will stop so only discharge ego will be there to finish all discharge karma and in human life only he has charge ego due to ignorance and in other animal life or other life only discharge ego for suffering of death or credit that will finish he will come in human and in human due to ignorance that discharge ego is there and due to past life he has to finish so discharge ego is also there after gnan vidhi our charge ego goes away by self realization who is the doer who am i only discharge ego is there for suffering and dissolving all discharge karma heading a return ticket from the animal kingdom questioner you say that one receives the fruit of his karma so then can these animals come back into the human form dada shri they are the ones who come here they are the ones that are here now their population has increased and they are the ones engaged in unscrupulous enterprises questioner what kind of good karma have these animals done that they are born into the human form dada shri they do not have to do good karmas let me explain to you a man falls into a debt and becomes bankrupt people say that he is ruined once he clears his debts would they go on saying that he is bankrupt questioner no then they would not say that dada shri in the same way you go from here to the animal form to clear your debts and return or you may go to the celestial level to clear your credits and return after gnan vidhi if we practice phai agna if we practice phai agna more than 70% then only two possibility one human birth in mahavidyakshetra near simantar swami or devagati again to after devagati we will go to simantar swami and last liberation so after dada's gnan only two life human or devagati heading making a reservation for lower life levels questioner how can we tell that a human will only be born in the animal form nada shri all his attributes and qualities will be evident he will have beastly thoughts thoughts of how to cheat and deprive others at the time of his death his appearance will be bestial 
questioner. If we were to plant the seed of a mango, we would get a mango tree. Does this apply to humans also? Will humans be humans in the next life? Vadashri. Yes, back to a human form means that if you look into a maternity ward, it is not puppies that are born to a woman. Do you understand that? If a person is virtuous and has good thoughts, he will indeed return to the human form. If instead of enjoying the things that he is entitled to, he gives them to others, he is a superhuman and he will go to celestial life form. There is nothing wrong with one enjoying his own wife because he is married to her. A person cannot take pleasure in things that are not his. Even thoughts about such things themselves are an indication that his next life will be in the animal form. That is his visa for going there. Questioner. The law of karma is such that a human has to experience the fruits of his karma in a human life. Dadashri, no. The effect of past cause karma must be experienced here and here only. Thoughts due to inner intent of depriving others, stealing from others, cheating others, and negative decisions of hurting and depriving others will take one to the other life forms. The karmas created as cause in one's past life have to be experienced here only. The effect of bestial behavior will be experienced here. How does one experience it? The experiences in the form of a public insult or criticism. This effect is the effect of the effect. The causes created within by bad thoughts and intentions to harm others will take them to animal life. Heading, who is the sufferer here? Questioner, good deeds bind merit karma and bad deeds bind demerit karma. Who experiences the fruits of this good and bad karma that are created? Is it the body or the soul? Nada Shri, the doer of the good and bad karma experiences it. The ego binds the karma and the ego experiences the fruit of the karma. Neither the body nor the self, soul, experiences it. The ego is the doer and the sufferer. If the ego is with the body, I am Chandulal, then the suffering is of the ego only. If the ego is without the body, I am Shadatma, then also the suffering is of the ego only, discharge ego. Questioner, is there such a thing as hell or heaven after death? Dada Shri, after death, there is both heaven and hell. Questioner, so if the karmas are bad, who goes to hell? Does the self go there? Dada Shri, the body and the soul are always together. Questioner, when one dies, is not the body cast off here? Dada Shri, a new body is formed there. The body for hell is formed separately. In hell, the body is like mercury. Questioner, is it the body that experiences karmas or is it the self that does? Dada Shri, the ego does. The one that caused the karma for hell experiences them. So ego is sufferer of discharge karma because he has bondage that all karma. Not soul is suffering, not body. Through body, ego is charging new karma. That's why ego will suffer in next life with new body. But ego remains same. In this body also, in next life also. Ego means I with wrong belief, he remains with soul. But new body will take place because of new causes, causal body. But in new body, same ego, he has made bad karma or good karma in past life, he will suffer in that life. Heading. Uh.
if ego is with the body, then it uh, suffers through the body. And if ego without the body, then it suffers without the body. So what does it mean by without body? Means, uh, without body means his wrong belief gets dissolved. I am not this body, I am pure soul. At that time, physical body, something happened, then mind is there, mind will su get suffer, but ego will not suffer. Because ego has right belief, I am not this physical body. So discharge karma will come in one body, it will get give effect. At that time, mind will get suffered. Because I has right belief, I am not this physical body, I am pure soul. Can you, say, can you say it again? See, here what is mentioned, this merit karma and demerit karma is suffered by ego because he has charged good karma and bad karma. But when he has charged bad karma or good karma, at the time he has ignorance. I am not, his, I am, he don't know who am I and he believes that I am Chandu, I am this body, so oneness with body. So due to ignorance he has charged good or bad, merit karma or demerit karma in past life. Now in this life he has to suffer all merit karma or demerit karma in this life. But in this life suppose he get self-realization. So he was due to ignorance he was oneness with body. He believed that I am Chandu, I am this body, I am thinking, I am doing, I am speaking like that. Now, by grace of Dada Bhagwan, we get self-realization. So now, I am not Deepak, I am pure soul. So my wrong belief gets fractured and I got right belief. But Deepak is there, physical body, mind, speech, everything is there. So any suffering is coming in this life, it is due to past karma. So that will come. But I am I am not suffering because I know I am not this physical body, I am not Deepak, I am pure soul. So so in ignorance with body ego will suffer. And in self realization he has changed his belief. I am not this physical body. I am pure soul. So, he is separated from body, so mind is there. Physical body, through physical body he has to suffer past karma. So physical body has some pain, but ego will not suffer, but mind will suffer. Here Dada says. <coughs> so, without body means, possessiveness of body is not there in self-realization. So it's not like that ego is suffering. It is ego means in two way. One, one is discharge ego is there. Okay. Mm -hmm. But that ego means uh, the real ego, he is not now sufferer. He is separated from this physical body and inner action, mind, speech, intellect, ego, everything. And five senses and body, speech, everything is separated from this body complex. So that ego, charge ego will not suffer because now he has realized who am I and who is the doer. Uh, on that same point, could you just explain what it means that the mind gets the suffering? The ego has gone into the correct seat and the mind gets the suffering. What, what, does, what is that like if the mind gets the suffering? Mind means inner action of antaskarana. Mind, speed, mind, intellect. Chit and ego, the discharge part, that will get suffered. So discharge ego will suffer. Would suffer, but the charge ego. So he has changed. He got right belief. I am not this physical body. I am not Alisa. So Alisa has ego. That is discharge ego. Could that you have an experience of two ends of the ego at the same time? One that has the right belief and one that suffers, or not no, so much? Two are separated. This simple equation, Alisa and pure soul are separated. So whatever some some insult may come, or some pain in body comes, so anything will come, Alisa will suffer. 
But you are as a pure soul, not sufferer. You are knower and seer. I am pure soul. I know what happens with Alisa. Alisa has mind, speech, body, five senses. And mind is with the discharge, ego, intellect and chit. But all body complex. That is called Alisa. She will suffer. But you are separated from Alisa. I am not Alisa. I am pure soul. So you are not going to suffer. So the discharge uh, <coughs> complex, the antaskaran, goes through the suffering at the same time the I is sitting somewhere else. Yes, sitting somewhere else, no, in sitting in seat of pure soul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shuddhatma. <laughs> We are saying, I am pure soul, it's been right in easy life. So that's it he got now. This is interim government stage. When we finish all discharge karma, we will reach to full stage. So that has changed now due to right belief. Place of seat is now changed. On real stage he came. I am pure soul. In Alisa, there is the ego, but it is called discharge ego. Mind, intellect, ego, physical body, all body complex. They have to suffer all past karma. Whatever charge in past life, merit karma or demerit karma, it will come in this life. Not only Alisa, Deepak also, Niruma also, everybody has to finish discharge karma or merit karma or demerit karma, but they have to suffer. Lord Krishna, Lord Mahavir, Dada Bhagavan, everybody, physical body, they have to suffer. But inside they are separated. I am not this physical body, I am not this A.M. Patel. Niruma says, I am not this A.M. Niruma, I am pure soul. So that part is real effort, real purusharth. How to keep separation with this physical body complex. Heading, what kind of karma did Hitler bind? Questioner. Uh, is that questioner or Dada Shri? It is direct Dada Shri. Okay. Dada Shri. Why did Hitler, who murdered so or many. Whatever. If you say it is mentioned in Hitler or a questioner, if as it is, no problem. Okay. Why did Hitler, who murdered so many innocent people, not receive the fruit of his karma? How did all the people that suffered because of him come together in such a way? How did all that come together? Was this an effect? Yes. Now, in the next life, the effect for him will be the hell level. Why? The scriptures have said that those who have died here and those whom the world considers as clearly violent and disreputable will go to hell or to the animal life form. Those who the world respects and worships will go to the celestial levels or be born as humans again. Heading, Collective Karma Effect. Questioner, which power is behind these earthquakes and volcanoes? Nadashri. Vyavastit Shakti, scientific circumstantial evidences. Vyavastit Shakti does everything. All the evidences have to be present. All the evidences must be ready. If there is the slightest possible shortcoming in any one of them, then nothing will materialize. Questioner, these cyclones are also Vyavastit? Nadashri. Then what else produces the cyclones all across Bombay? Many are not aware of it because it does not affect them. Although the cyclone hits everyone in Bombay, it affects people in different ways. Some people's homes get blown away, while even the doormats of certain homes remain untouched. Everything happens very methodically and precisely. There is no need to be afraid of the cyclones. Vyavastit sends everything. Questioner, all these earthquakes, cyclones, and wars, don't they happen because of the law of construction, destruction, increase, decrease? Dada Shri, no. 
They are all dependent on the timing of karma effect. Everyone is experiencing the consequences of their karma. Earthquakes occur even when there is an increase in the human population in the world. If it were based on an increased destruction, then would it happen? Questioner, is it the timing for the individuals who have to suffer it? Dada Shri, it includes everyone, humans, animals, everything. The unfolding of the effect is collective, just like the effect that came for Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Questioner, just as an individual does bad deeds, is the act done collectively, suffered collectively too? If just one person goes to steal, and if 10 people go on a raid, does that mean that they are all punished collectively? Dada Shri, yes, the punishment is going to be in its entirety, but the amount with the intensity of inner intent, sorry, yes, the punishment is going to be in its entirety, but the amount with the intensity of inner intent of the individuals at that time. Perhaps one of them was forced to steal against his will. The account depends upon the strength of the intent. It is very precise. Questioner. But these natural disasters that occur, for example, a cyclone or a volcano that kills thousands of people, would that be a result of collective punishment? Nadashri, that is everyone's account. Only the ones with the pending account get caught, nobody else. Say there was an earthquake in Bombay and some folks had gone on vacation to another city while others from elsewhere were here in Bombay. These are all effects of accounts. Questioner, many more people die collectively nowadays than in previous times. Before, we never used to witness so many people dying collectively in such large numbers. Is that the result of the collective bad karma they did? Dada Shri, there were not many large groups in the past. Nowadays, there are many working under individual flags, for example, communism, etc., so that all the deeds are grouped together. Questioner, so are the droughts, floods, and earthquakes killing hundreds of people actually a result for a group? Dada Shri, it is all a result of a group of people's causes. Questioner, so if they are to be a part of the punishment, they will be drawn here no matter where they are? Dada Shri, nature brings them here in the area of the earthquake or cyclone, etc., and punishes them. Questioner, yes, Dada, there are examples of people who have missed a plane for some reason, while others who are not supposed to fly find themselves on board a plane that crashes. Dada Shri, they are all accounts. Methodical justice, it is absolutely precise. There is no owner of this. If there were, then injustice may occur. Questioner, was the Air India plane crash an instrument for all those people? Was it Vyavastit? Dada Shri, only an account. Nothing happens without an account of debit credit. So minutely this explanation is given by Dada Bhagavan. Why this is happening? Collective causes of so many people, they will get suffering collectively. An individual, he has to suffer individual. Heading. A good deed cannot negate a bad deed. Questioner. Is the suffering a net result of the addition and subtraction of bad karma and good karma? Dada Shri, no. Addition and subtraction does not occur. The deeds do not cancel each other out. This has been a rule since the existence of this world. People would take advantage of it if this were the case. The smart people would end up doing a hundred good deeds and ten bad deeds, leaving ninety credits of good deeds. Nature makes sure that both good and bad deeds are experienced.
good deed he has to get good result and bad deed he has to suffer badly but both are individually he has to suffer there is no subtraction or division in between questioner dada is it true that when we do any kind of charitable work like building a hospital the fruit of the other negative karmas we have done will be less intense dada shri no it is not reduced there is no subtraction or addition in the account new karmas are bound for the good deeds but one will have to suffer the consequences of harming others otherwise all the calculating business minded people will subtract the bad karmas and keep the profit it is not like that natural law is exact if you have done any harm just even once its fruits will come two bad deeds will not be deducted from 100 good deeds both will have to be suffered separately questioner so the fruits of these good karmas and the bad karmas are separate dada shri the fruits of bad karmas will be bad and the fruit of good karmas will be good nothing increases or decreases what kind of law prevails in nature say you do 100 dollars worth of good karma by donating to a charity but you also do 5 dollars worth of bad karma by insulting someone the 5 dollars will become a debit in your account and the good deed of 100 dollars will become a credit the law is very precise if this were not so then all the businessmen would credit debit all the time and ensure that they had a net credit balance there would never be any unhappiness and so no one would ever seek liberation because there would be nothing but good deeds so the law credits 100 and loans you 5 which is not deducted you will have to experience whatever credit you accumulate excessive credits will be bring excessive fruits which become cumbersome to enjoy after a while you will tire from too much of a good thing too much credit becomes cumbersome and too much debit also becomes cumbersome one becomes tired of all the luxuries and wants to revert back to simplicity this is because whatever comforts they experience is not real it is not the bliss of the self rather it is imaginary and temporary happiness one never tires or becomes dissatisfied with the permanent bliss of the pure soul heading break clear the result is that there is bound to happen when there is starvation therefore nothing is happening Okay so I I feel that you're all in it you don't want to stop but we make a break <laughs> Ich merke dass ihr alle sehr drin seid und wir machen trotzdem 10 Minuten Pause 10 minutes break
there is no harm in telling them the Bible because he is a neighbor. Listen to file number one. The line of demarcation is in place. That part is yours, this part is yours, and this part is his. Sorry, what? Mm -hmm. There is a house. Both the wife and husband will divide the property to create. After it has been divided, one will immediately recognize this is not mine. Similarly, after the division of what is yours and what is his, why would there be any interference? Now, the next one is the state without attachment as far well as in our ground state now. Death and abhorrence is the cause of worldly life. And one becomes free from worldly life, then he becomes free from attachment and abhorrence. The world is very thin, rubbish. Until one attains self knowledge, Nam, he does not attain the absolute vision of worldly and something. And until then, there is rubbish. And in the crumb of that, even after the sun is the thing, that which exists through a certain form. If one has a thing, 20% जगत नो प्रेम स्वार्थी छे नथी क्या है ये साचो प्रेम जगत नो प्रेम स्वार्थी छे नथी क्या है ये साचो प्रेम पति पत्नी मा स्वार्थ छे नथी कहीं अन्य आसक्ति विन जगत नो प्रेम स्वार्थी छे नथी क्या है ये साचो प्रेम ज्या देखे साम सामी दोष त्या क्या थी होये साचो प्रेम ज्या देखे साम सामी दोष त्या क्या थी होये साचो प्रेम खरो प्रेमी तो कापो तोय कदी ना मुह करो भरे खरो प्रेमी तो कापो तोई कदी ना मुह करो भरे जगत नो प्रेम स्वार्थी छे नथी क्या है ये साचो प्रेम वध घट थाए ते आसती चढ़े उतरे ए पल पल माँ जे वध घट थाए ते आसती चढ़े उतरे ए पल पल माँ अघट वध प्रेम 
ते साचो प्रेम स्वयं परमात मानो स्वरूप अघट वध प्रेम ते साचो प्रेम स्वयं परमात मानो स्वरूप जगत नो प्रेम स्वार्थी छे नथी क्या ये साचो प्रेम जगत जे जो या ना कदी सदाए प्रेम श्रोत वहे जगत जे जो या ना कदी सदाए प्रेम श्रोत वहे जो वो आज्ञानी ना रदे अघट वध प्रेम अंतर लहे जो वो आज्ञानी ना रदे अघट वध प्रेम अंतर लहे जगत नो प्रेम स्वार्थी छे नथी क्या ये साचो प्रेम बिजो संसारे अद्भुत प्रेम दिसे माता नो पुत्र तरफ बिजो संसारे अद्भुत प्रेम दिसे माता नो पुत्र तरफ जगत मां जोटो ना जड़े मातृत्व प्रेम ना तो रे जगत मां जोटो ना जड़े मातृत्व प्रेम ना तो रे जगत नो प्रेम स्वार्थी छे नथी क्या ये साचो प्रेम छताए घट वध थाए मातृत्व रिलेटिव रूप छताए घट वध थाए मातृत्व रिलेटिव रूप जहाँ प्रगटे परमातम प्रेम त्याहीना सापेक्ष प्रेम जहाँ प्रगटे परमातम प्रेम त्याहीना सापेक्ष प्रेम जगत नो प्रेम स्वार्थी छे नथी क्या ये ये साचो प्रेम जगत नो प्रेम स्वार्थी छे नथी क्या ये ये साचो प्रेम पति पत्नी माँ स्वार्थ छे नथी कहीं अन्य आसक्ति विन जगत नो प्रेम स्वार्थी छे नथी क्या ये ये साचो प्रेम
रे मानव सत्य तुझने क्या थी जड़े रे मानव सत्य तुझने क्या थी जड़े असत मात्र सर्वनी नजरे पड़े असत मात्र सर्वनी नजरे पड़े रे मानव सत्य तुझने क्या थी जड़े रे Jay Satchidanand, Jay Satchidanand, please find your seat. Come, bitte wieder zurück auf eure Plätze, dass wir weitermachen können. ठगने ठगाई माँ शिद पहुँचो परम सत्यनी गहराई माँ शिद पहुँचो परम सत्यनी गहराई माँ परम तत्वनी जाखी तूने क्या थी अड़े हो रे मानव सत्य तुझने क्या थी जड़े रे मानव सत्य तुझने क्या थी जड़े some question answer for 852 853 okay Svenja of Gerd und Svenja mit zwei Fragen Svenja Jay Sachidan, I'd like to ask. Our goal is absolute liberation. This can we can receive this with the final darshan at the feet of Lord Simanda, who, as a Tathankara, 
has a 360 degrees vision. On certain occasions, like Guru Purnima, Dada and the Gnani have the 360 degree vision. How come that we cannot receive our final darshan here on these occasions, although the vision is complete by reaching the 360 degrees? Reason is complete, but knowledge is not complete and experience is not complete. And one more thing, absolute stage not achieved. Only vision, I know that is ultimate goal, but that visualize, but I have not reached that place. And Lord Simandar Swami is in Keval Darshan, Keval Gnan, Keval Charitra, absolute stage of vision, knowledge, experience and behavior or say act. So, and in this era, this Bharat Chetra, we can reach up to 356, but we cannot reach up to 356, say so less than 356, 355, 354, 350, 50. So, this is also too much for our, our our level people because we are on say 200 10 205 18 195 200 205 10 so that degree we are by grace of Dada Bhagwan in Nanviti we are directly coming to 300 so 100 degree we bypass everything and we reach here now we have to make effort by practicing five agnas and we have, we have to solve our files with equanimity. File 1 and file other files, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever. And file 1 is also having anger, pride, deceit, greed, attachment, aversions, so many possessiveness, expectations, jealous. So all discharge complex is there. We have to solve with equanimity. Then only, when we finish all this file, then we can reach to Bhavide Kshetra. So, we are on right track. So, one life is not out of thousands of life, infinite times we are wandering in this world. But now that is going to end within one, two, three life. So, we have to keep awareness of five Agna. And I am pure soul. And if anybody may hurt, then we will do pratikaman. This will be real effort for future towards Lord Simandar Swami. We will reach to that place. Understood? Yes. 854. Where are the totally covered souls before they enter the natural evolutionary process toward, towards liberation? And what is the energy behind that evolution? If there is no beginning and no end, how can there be a development from A to B? And what is the force or the initiation behind that development? Soul is eternal or temporary? Eternal. Permanent. So, soul is permanent. So there is no beginning of soul, no beginning of end. No, uh, no end of soul. But soul with some evidence of atom. Atoms are also permanent. But atom and soul, when they comes in contact, the covering of atom on the soul, that is a beginning. So infinite atom is on the soul. Soul is covered with infinite atom. The atom, just like a thousand watt bulb is there. And if we put some cloth, one, two, three, four, five, six, not a single ray of light will come out. And when we come out, we, when we take one 
layer, second layer, then only little ray will come out after some time. Then when total uncovered, all layer will go away, then total uncovered, full light will be there. So like that soul is a fully, full of infinite knowledge, full of infinite happiness, full of infinite vision, but it is totally covered. And that stage is there. Nobody is created, but it is there. So total covered soul in in Nigod or say uh, before entering in this world universe, there is infinite soul. They are totally covered with not a single reason or knowledge is coming out. One soul from this universe gets liberated. One soul will enter from that world from Nigod Avyavar Rasi. This is called Vyavar. This is Avyavar. That will come in this world. And one sense creature, so little layer will go away and single sense is, we can, uh, that, that soul is experiencing one sense. Through one sense, he will experience worldly things, touch sense. So, from that development starts from that point. And slowly, slowly, ego is not there, intellect is not there. Your mind is also not there in one sense, two sense, three sense, four sense. Mind is also not developed. Only sense, touch sense, then the taste sense, then smell, eyes, and in fifth sense, in the five, five sense creature, here gets developed and in that development mind will start development but still mind is not cannot charge new karma so all this layer on the soul slowly slowly due to scientific circumstantial evidence little little layer will dissolve the soul will come in higher sense development natural process up to human it is natural process in human Wrong belief starts, I am so and so, I am doer. So in human, very in beginning stage, little ego and little intellect gets start. And from there, very little karma will now charging of new karma. In, in India, when they come in India, when they understand Reincarnation. I am doer. I am bonding my karma. I will have to suffer my karma. That knowledge, that ego is a higher stage. And that charge, so much karma, they can go to Devgati or Narkati hell or heaven or in animal life. But in human of India, the ego is topmost. Anger, pride, deceit, greed. So seven generation he has attachment. Seven generation. So that type of ego. Attachment, egoism. And so development of ego is a charging of karma. And when after self-realization ego will dissolve and charging of new karma will stop. When he finishes all discharge karma with equanimity, slowly, slowly, within one, two, three life, he finishes all discharge karma, he will get salvation. Like that, so total covered soul, in development, slowly, slowly, it becomes total uncovered, then it will reach to moksha. This is natural development. But in human, in, in when he understands reincarnation, then new karma of charging, that charging will in four life he has to go otherwise one sense to two sense three sense natural development no only animal kingdom not hell and heaven even not even human also up to chimpanzee gorilla then also then when they come to human then very starting of new karma charging of new karma understood yes and this discovering 
is of actual matter in this covering, in the, the total covering in, in this other world is actual matter, the matter. element of matter? Matter means, see, all six, there are six eternal elements in this world. Matter is visible and it can, it can cover knowledge of soul. Or other four are not active. Space and time and inertia, motion and emotion. That four elements are not trouble, giving any trouble. But matter, it creates wrong belief to soul. And, and totally covered with a matter. So in between soul and matter, there is a ego gets generated due to ignorance and ego, anger, pride, deceit, everything is there. But it is dormant stage. Now when matter dissolves, means due to uh, conflict, conflict, clashes, in, slowly, slowly, see what happened. When we are using say banana, all these beans, so we are using, so at that time that one sense creature we are using, that will go to higher stage. And we are eating, so we are losing some merit karma. And that will get that uh, living creature and they will get development. So natural development is there. And somebody, some other animal, they kill other element. So powerful element, they are kill weaker element, weaker animals. So they are getting some merit karma. They will go to higher stage, higher development, higher sense development. So like that natural due to they have to means some due to circumstances evidence they are getting they kill them somebody may eat them, they use them. So that gets credit karma to them and the development takes place. But it is natural. Not a uh, nobody's doer behind that happen and uh, development. Nobody's doer. You understand? 854, 855. That is also me. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would like to understand the science behind intention with regards to its effects on this current worldly lifetime. In the German Seva team, it is often applied to attending the big events, like just keep up the intention and you will be there. Um, now my personal experience seems to be a little different. I have like stumbled into events that I had little conscious intention to be at and I have missed other events that I had a very strong attention to attend. My understanding so far had been that the intention will mainly affect the, not the current one. So please explain in detail the interplay of intention and obstructing karma. <coughs> this is all related to Svenya, not you. You are as a pure soul. Now whatever in Seva team, they say is, it is to Svenya. He, she has to keep intention. I want to reach, I want to do this work. Strong intention. Now that is also discharge part and our intention, we want, I want to do Dada's work, that intention we are keeping constant. Sometimes we cannot reach to that place or we cannot able to do Dada's work, Seva work, that is our obstruction karma. But still our bhav, our intention, I want to do Dada's work, so that will Svenya has to keep in mind that I want to do Dada's work. So this time she may not have that work due to obstructing karma. But that karma is also discharged and that is finished. We, have, we, have, we solve that karma with equanimity. In future, her intention, I want to do Dada's work. In future, what will, what will happen? 
without obstruction you can continue dada's work so sometimes whatever discharge obstructing karma they are coming but they are giving result so it is effect of past karma and that effect we are finishing with equanimity so the intention remain as it is i want to do dada's work slowly slowly so two years five years all obstruction will go away in future you can do continuous dada's work without any obstruction but all is belongs to when you are not pure soul so whatever you have mentioned that when you are doing bhav but you are as a pure soul now you are not doing bhav so previously you are believing that i am svenya and i am doing bhav so that is charging bhav that will come in next life but now you are separated from svenya and svenya is whatever doing bhav it is discharge bhav but it will you can say charge means a, it is a part of discharge bhav part of discharge means in future no obstruction will be there and we can do more dadas work without any obstruction but in this life only understood yes thank you okay 855 856 jetzt kommt franziska und mit zwei fragen und danach petra diana achidanand i have a question concerning the purity in dealing with money issues in general i have the intention to be clear and uh, in this area but in some areas it's not that case for instance uh, some incomes i don't declare in the tax office it's not i don't it's not a lot of money but um, and i work hard so i see also the ego that i don't want to pay tax for this <laughs> and uh, And, and also in Germany, it's um, very common that when you have a maid or you employ gardeners or craftsmen, that you pay them without uh, signing the the unofficial. Receipt, yes, and um, and also uh, they would become di have difficulties. For instance, we had a maid, and she, when we declare the money we give her, she would have difficulties. Difficulties, and um, in the books of Dada is said, if I understood it correctly, that uh, a certain amount of corruption is acceptable. So, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so I, i i really want to be clear in this and i don't want to prevent the karma from discharging completely so i want to be clear but there is still some unclarity is there is some cozy cozy area and <laughs> and uh, does this karma remain if i don't um, be uh, how can i be 100 straight and sincere <laughs> so it it uh, doesn't seem to be possible for for one I, of course first thing francisca is earning money or you are earning money uh, francisca is earning money oh, or she not, has to... not very much but she does no, no, no. <laughs> but you are not doer francisca is doer she is doing job and she is earning money you are not doing job you are not earning money you are pure soul so first step keep separation with francisca now this is file we want to solve with equanimity so this is adjustment we are not cheating with government 100% you are not you are paying some tax also no yes quite not 100% but about say 70 80 or 60 whatever so some percent we are paying tax to government so that is okay and this is little adjustment because in 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 chartered accountant he will also if you consult somebody he will say like this you can adjust take adjustment and save your money and you can not pay all taxes whatever income you are generating so it's an adjustment it's not it is cheating adjust, not it's cheating it is adjustment and it is adjustment and we are paying some tax not 100% deduction but about say 
ट्वेंटी परसेंट और थर्टी परसेंट वी आर नॉट पेइंग बट सेवेंटी एटी परसेंट वी आर पेइंग सो सो दैट इज करेक्ट वी कैन इन इन अकाउंट चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट ही विल गाइड यू सो इन सो यू कैन सेव मनी सो इन इन लॉ वी आर इन लॉ एंड वी आर टेकिंग एडजस्टमेंट बाय इन लॉ नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट वी आर नॉट नॉट पेइंग एनी टैक्स इट इज नॉट वी आर नॉट वी आर सो वी आर पेइंग सम टैक्स बट वी आर टेकिंग एडजस्टमेंट and that you can do no problem and for for 100% purity is keep separation with francisca is 100% purity and she is doing whatever she has have at intellect and some some guidance from chartered accountant or some experienced person and she is doing whatever adjustment it is file we will solve with equanimity so that is not charging of new karma and that will not remain pending we are finishing that karma with equanimity that is our our part is equanimity is is doing bad or good will not responsible for good or bad anybody gets hurt then will ask francisca to do pratikam that is only from our side so this at this much adjustment you can do no problem chhe sachidanand chhe sachidanand Eight fifty six and eight fifty seven. The other question is, in my in my work, I try to be the knower and seer, and to uh, to not interfere and see the intellect that is interfering as separate. But in spite of all these videos I do before I I have a job which is important to me, and and in spite of um, surrendering everything to Dada. With the intention to be an instrument for Jakatikalyan, uh, there is a, a, a lot of tension and stress, and the, and I see that the concentration is causing the stress, so that file one is tends to make mistakes. But without concentration, it doesn't seem to be possible to to do good work. So it's like a little uh, there is a conflict inside, because not I, I wish I. could not think and just give everything and surrender everything and um <clears throat> so this mechanism doesn't seem to allow that to be the knower and see it so of course i see, now i see and know that that's the case but how can i stop the intellect interfering that's two part one is so you have surrender the mind speech and body to do dada's work so for you this is sincerity your sincere due to your sincerity you have some tension i want to finish this work i want to do this work so that sincerity has give some botheration some stress or tension whatever you say is but that is really not tension or stress but it is sincerity i want to do dada's work seriously and sincerely but now the intellect is different thing it is sensitive ego and intellect it may interfere but for solution of intellect you can do one thing you can solve means use intellect for solving problems not intellect should not use for living thing living person for you for, for self also means francisca also and for other people also don't use intellect for living person only non living things you can use intellect how to solve this problem without conflict or how to solve this problem but who has created problem why he is not doing why she is not doing only i have to do this is we are using intellect for human don't use solve problem why this is happen so evidence timing understanding we will work out something and we will solve that problem with people but nobody we should not blame on any living person 
But how can I do it to not blame file one when I'm no, quite no. well prepared when I have a performance, but then uh, mistakes happen and then file one is no, angry that, that, at herself. No, no, that is not right, right way. Now explain, Francisca. Don't worry. Now ask strength from the other Bhagwan and start again. Don't get disturbed. So we are keeping separation with Francisca and ask Francisca. Don't be hurry or don't get emotional. Ask strength and slowly, slowly finish one by one work. So that way also possible. We can finish. So when intellect, intellect shows that I cannot able to finish this work. What will happen? So intellect will show what will happen. Then we have to give answer. No, now whatever we have finished, now whatever work pending, we'll ask strength from Dada Baba and we'll finish that work. So keep separation with Francisca. So that make ego and intellect in normal stage. When you involve with Francisca, then intellect will take intellect will take over any everything, and she will make uh, disturb us. Intellect will disturb us. So we want to keep whatever happen now, Francisca. Now do this, don't do this. Ask strength from the other Bhagwans. Finish one by one. Don't be in a hurry. Don't get stressed. Like that, you keep separation and do conversation with Francisca. That is the best and easy way to keep normality in ego and intellect. Yeah, the work is going on when I when I'm standing there and and singing, and then I can't make a conversation with Francisca at that moment. And, uh, and, and, and I wonder, do I make the videos correctly? Because I, I say I'm separate from mind, speech, and body, and I'm, and all these Sita uh, uh, studies, I, I apply them, and still, um, it will no, mistakes say, happen. No, but we have to understand all this work is relative and dependent on scientific circumstantial evidence. So, scientific circumstantial evidence is not in our own hand. He cannot control circumstances evidence. So we have to accept, we have to uh, accept whatever circumstances evidence comes. We'll finish one by one, step by step work. Whatever priority work out, this is first priority, this is second, this is least one. And divide work and slowly, slowly finish. This is all after relative and we have to solve with equanimity. Don't get tension. And if you have some lack of understanding, then discuss with team, get solution. So time is there any time problem, then also you discuss with team. Like that, communication is required. And get solution for whatever seva you are doing. Yes, Thank you very much. 857, 858. Next is Petra Diana und danach kommt Lars. Jesa Chitanan. Wir haben gehört, dass die Seele Millionen von Inkarnationen hat. We have heard that the soul has a million Incarnations before she zum ersten Mal ein Mensch wird. Before it comes into the human realm for the first time. Wir wissen auch, dass man nur als Mensch Karma aufladen kann. We also know that only as a human one can charge Karma. Nicht als Tier, als Himmelswesen oder Dämon. We do not charge karma in the animal life form as a spiritual being or in the hell life form. Ich habe auch irgendwo in den Akram Heften gelesen. I've also read somewhere in the booklets of Akram Vignan dass Materie nur dann erlebt werden bzw. entstehen kann. That matter can only be experienced, uh, or matter can only arise, wenn Materie durch das Ego aufgeladen wurde. If matter has been previously charged 
through the ego. Meine Frage ist, wie und wodurch wurden die Millionen von Inkarnationen in die Materie geladen? My question is, how and how have the millions of incarnations have been charged in in the surrounding of matter? Bevor man das erste Mal als Mensch Karma aufladen konnte. Before one has charged uh, karma as a human or in the human life form for the first time. Wenn man davor kein karma aufladen konnte. When pre uh, before that no karma has been charged. Wer hat dann bestimmt, wann man wo welche Form einnimmt? Who has decided um, where and in which form one um, will become um, embodied beziehungsweise als Seele zu sehen bekommt or what one will experience as a soul und was ist der Auslöser dafür, dass man dann zum ersten Mal als Mensch inkarniert and what is the charging point of, of or what is the charge for becoming um, a human of uh, incarnation for the first time. You know Darwin theory? Theory of Darwin? The theory of Darwin from one sense to human. It is mentioned that slowly, slowly, slowly after so many life that creature from one sense it comes to human. That is correct. The same way whatever Natural development without any effort, only scientific circumstances, evidence, automatically from one sense, in one sense, millions of years and millions of uh, birth, reincarnation take place. But automatically, then after finishing all development of one sense, that creature will go to two sense. In two sense, there are so many type of two sense creature. All creature he has to go through automatically, without effort, naturally. Then three sense, then four sense, then five sense. And five sense, lastly, no, then monkey, chimpanzee, gorilla, then comes to human. According to Darwin theory, that is correct. So up to human, whatever mentioned in Darwin theory, that is correct. But after human, what happens? Darwin has not mentioned. After human, that intellect and ego gets generated. And that intellect and ego, they are charging new karma. So, there are two types of karma. One is natural development, from one sense to five sense. And in human, again, new karma, doership. Due to doership, ego, in human, it gets charged and, and in development of human after whatever they are charging in human they have to finish in four life human, animal, hell or heaven and after so many life development take place in, initially in human first they will experience relative things five senses development of five senses and they will experience through five senses, worldly things. Then, in human, again development take place. And then anger, pride, deceit, greed, they will get generated more and more. And they will experience through ego, intellect, mind, worldly things. And after infinite life, all experience, this is, the soul means uh, that the creature will understand all this happiness is relative, temporary. I want permanent happiness. Then, after so many life, when he got self-realization, then automatically he get permanent happiness. Then only charging of new karma will stop. And slowly, slowly, discharge karma finish with equanimity. Then soul will get ultimate liberation. So this is development taking place automatically up to human, and then intellect and ego and due to that charging new karma in four life he has to 
Go. Danke. Ich hätte noch eine zweite Frage. Says, Thank you. I would like to ask a second question. Yes. Um, so weit. Hast du die, Entschuldigung, hast du die eingereicht? Ja, steht drauf. Und später noch, die kommt, ah, okay, die kommt nachher noch dran. Okay, danke. Rufen dich dann okay. nochmal auf, okay? Danke. Jetzt ist Lars dran und danach Pai Ravi. Um, ich stelle die Frage in Deutsch. I will speak in German. Um, in der Wissenschaft von Karma auf Seite 15 steht, Bau ist die innere Absicht und Einstellung im Leben, das ist die Ursache. Es gibt einen Handelnden in der, dieser inneren Absicht und Einstellung, er wird Ego genannt. Um, in the Science of Karma Booklet it says, Bau is the inner intent an outlook in life, and that is the cause. Kannst du den zweiten Satz mal wiederholen? Er steht hier nicht. Es gibt einen Handeln in dieser inneren Absicht und Einstellung, er wird Ego genannt. There is a doer of that inner intent, and that is the Ego. So verstehe ich, dass das, das Baukarma, das sich aufladende Karma ist, was vom Ego aufgeladen wird. So, so Baukarma is the Karma that is charged through the ego. Do I understand that correctly? Yes. Und dann steht da, sobald kein Karma mehr gebunden wird, ist es zu Ende. And it also says, um, when no Karma is bound anymore, things come to an end. Und das geschieht ja im Gnanvidi. And this happens in the Gnanvidi. Das ist so korrekt. Ist das korrekt? Ja. Und dann kommt Lars, komme ich immer ins Struggeln und in, in, in einen Konflikt beim Lesen des Charanvidi, wo ich an einer Stelle immer feststecke. Now Lars is, is at some point sort of struggling or uh, he's wondering while reading the Charanvidi. At a certain point he is wondering. Denn da steht, ich gebe aufgeladenes Karma, also eigentlich Baukarma, Subtiles sich entladenes Karma, Dravya Karma und grobes sich entladenes Karma hin. Because in the Charanvidi it says, I surrender Bhao Karma, Dravya Karma and No Karma. Aber nach dem Charanvidi ist da doch gar kein Bhao Karma mehr, was da ist. But after the Gnanvidi we do not charge any Bhao Karma anymore, do we not? So warum steht das im Charanvidi? So why is it written in the Charanvidi? Why do we surrender Bhao Karma? By grace of Dada Bhagwan, we got self-realization. So this is a, we have not earned this knowledge, but we have, we are getting by grace of Dada Bhagwan. So now we are having belief only I am pure soul, I am not this, what is your name? Lars. Lars. So I am not Lars, I am pure soul, but we are getting belief. So now, if we have not reached to, so only belief has changed, we have not reached to awareness and experience. Now, by practicing five Agnya, we will improve our awareness and slowly, slowly we will get experience of pure soul by practicing five Agnya. So, in Agnya, so whatever mentioned in Charanvidi, so ego with wrong belief is we got ego I means right I with right belief, but we are due to wrong belief that vow vow karma gets generated, wrong belief, wrong awareness, wrong experience, and wrong action. So now all discharge karma is there. But we don't want to involve or say oneness with discharge karma. So, so we are always keeping awareness that now I am not Lars, I am pure soul. And in a, when I become Lars and charging of new karma, that everything now of, I am surrendering to you. So this is the When we say, I surrender my bhav karma, dravya karma, no karma, mind, 
स्पीच एक्शन एंड ऑल रिलेटिव थिंग्स टू दादा भगवान एट दैट टाइम वी बिकम्स प्योर एब्सोल्यूट प्योर सोल एंड धैन वी से आई एम नॉट दिस आई एम आई एम टोटली सेपरेट फ्रॉम माइंड स्पीच एंड बॉडी आई एम फुल ऑफ इन्फिनाइट नॉलेज सो ऑल द टाइम वाई वी आर सींग बिकॉज दिस इज बाई ग्रेस वी आर गेटिंग दिस नॉलेज सो ऑल द टाइम वी वॉन्ट टू कीप अवेयरनेस ऑल दिस भाव कर्म द्रव्य कर्म नो कर्म इज इज विथ नाउ लार्स आई एम नॉट लार्स आई एम प्योर सोल सो ऑल द टाइम वेन वी से दिस सेंटेन्स ऑफ समर्पण एट द टाइम यू बिकम्स ओनली एब्सोल्यूट प्योर सोल and you are surrendering all this karma to dada bhagwan again and again because we want to keep awareness by belief we got realization of pure soul now with awareness you want to keep oh this is bhav karma i surrender bhav karma means discharge anger pride deceit greed ego intellect everything you are surrendered to dada bhagwan then further by experience we want to understand properly वॉट एवर हैपन है एनी एंगर और प्राइड कम्स इन लार्स एट द टाइम यू हैव टू यू हैव एक्सपीरियंस ओ दिस इज लार्स विथ लार्स नॉट विथ मी सो वी हैव चेंज अवर बिलीफ बट अवेरनेस एक्सपीरियंस एंड एक्शन इज रिमेन पेंडिंग सो ऑल द टाइम वी आर कीपिंग अवेरनेस ओ आई सरेंडर्ड माई माइंड स्पीच बॉडी भाव कर्म द्रव्य कर्म नो कर्म एंड ऑल दिस रिलेटिव गॉड्स रिलेटिव रिलेशन टू दादा भगवान so at the time i visualize that everything whatever happen in deepak is surrender to dada bhagwan i am not owner of this whatever happen in deepak i am pure soul i am no one else here so we are keeping this awareness all the time by uh, speaking all this charan vidhi words understood yeah yeah so no. this is a intermediate stage you have not achieved that full stage so every time we are when we are whenever we are saying this this is our awareness so this is separate i am pure soul es heißt ja immer dass oder ich verstehe es auch so nachnan wie die kann kein neues karma mehr aufgeladen werden und doch ist dieser dieses dieser volle zustand nicht erreicht um it often says that um after gyan wie die no Uh, karma can be charged anymore but still that full stage is not um realized or has not manifest und da ist immer noch so ein rest kann doch irgendwie noch karma aufgeladen werden von file 1 und ich bin getrennt davon so there's still some some remaining anxiety can there be karma charged by lars and i remain separate from it no with no charging of new karma is correct but discharge karma may not finish so we have to keep awareness this is discharge karma and i am no one else here so by practicing phi agna we will stop charging of new karma that is first part and for every relative evidence whatever discharge karma comes at the time we have to keep awareness of phi agna then discharge karma will finish without residual part totally exhaust exhaust it will exhaust total dissolves but if we cannot keep awareness of five principle properly then some discharge karma remain pending that again it will come we have to finish with equanimity and 100% perfectly when we apply five agna then it will go and discharge totally dissolves with equanimity so so charging of new karma is not at all that is correct but discharge karma we have to finish with completely so it should not remain pending so you understood ha yes jai sachidanand jai sachidanand hier jetzt bhai ravi und danach sabine was was Sorry bhai ravi must morgen früh geht's weiter So the book by I just want to ask uh we are doing we sorry it's okay 
we are doing some mic every evening and we are asking for an introduction or a better understanding how to do regular Samaic looking back into the, my day where, where have I not been in the five Agnas so can you do a wonderful Samaic for us that we can use in the evening Samaics that we record today so we can use that and have a, a daily Samaic in the evening thank you you can Stay here, so I can oh. talk with you. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. You can sit down somewhere. Thank you. <laughs> or sit down here. It's okay. So otherwise I have to... <laughs> space only I have to talk. One thing. See, one thing we have on an internet, there are Samaic module, and in Samaic, so many Samaics are there, and some explanation in Gujarati, but I think they have started translating and they are putting the translation also in English. That's true. So, so one kind of that Samaic, one kind of that you can do. For general and for every day, very simple and for every day we can do, this I will explain you now. See, very important, we want to use, we want to practice five Agnas. And we are doing Samaic where we miss five Agna. So we want to see everybody, every living creature as a pure soul relatively and really and really pure soul relatively faking. Then whatever file comes we want to solve with equanimity. Then whatever happened, bad or good, we want to understand that nobody is under fault, it is result of scientific circumstantial evidence. So we know how to practice Phi Agna. And where we miss Phi Agna, we are resetting again and again Phi Agna. There is one kind of Samaik. Now in little depth, who obstruct this Phi Agna? Who, which, which type of mistake they gives obstruction to practice Phi Agna? So our file one has anger, tumor of so file one has anger, greed or pride, or say uh, attachment, hatred, expectations, possessiveness, insecurity, so many things. But ego means Uwe. So Uwe means file one. So Uwe has so many mistakes. So now that pride, I am always right. So that will, when something happens, that ego will come. I am right, so he will argue with others and he will see fault of others, he will disturb work and at that time we miss Phi Agna. This is file, this is result of scientific circumstantial evidence, this is pure soul, this is relative, that we miss. So pride obstruct using Phi Agnas. So now we want to see in Samaik, when we miss Phi Agna, who has obstruction? who is made of friction, which type of mistake. So anger, uh, mainly pride and greed, these are the big, and more attachment, these are the big. And anger is supporting pride, and the deceit is supporting greed, or more attachment. So this, any, in relation, when we do work, Dada's work, or in some, uh, job or say in our family relation, any work we are doing, at that time this pride or greed or more attachment will come and that will disturb, that will not help, that means we will miss our equanimity due to our anger, pride, deceit, greed, attachment, hatred. So now we want to see in Samaik which type of anger or pride or deceit or greed comes that will disturb our Phi Agna. So it is also discharge. So expectations, attachment is there, then expectations will be there. And when expectation doesn't fulfill, file one become angry or some negative thoughts will come. So at that time we have to know why this negativity came due to something. What is that reason? And that we want to find out in Samaik. So whatever happens is a discharge karma. 
but in in discharge karma what things is going on expectation is there attachment is there that's why expectations and expectation doesn't fulfill but when expectation doesn't fulfill at that time we have to use result of scientific circumstances and this is vyavasthit but we miss and we blame on others why you have not done so and so that part when we hurt others at that time we will see oh why this is happen due to our expectation doesn't fulfill then what is reason for our ex our attachment is there we have used we can use that third agnya vyavasthit so we miss that agnya so like that we will find out our anger or pride or deceit or greed or attachment or hatred whatever so it is our means in you way you are pure soul so we so you are first step you are separated from we now you we is so physical part means mind speech and body they are in action with people but there is inner part that anger or pride or deceit or greed or misunderstanding or over confidence like that so many things in between that part is making a disturbance so now our observation so samai we want to do on this tumor of anger or pride or say deceit or greed we want to see in whatever action happens and it gets somebody gets disturbed or we will get disturbed any uneasiness then any suffering comes then we have to understand this type of mistake will be there to so focus on that and dissolve that by right understanding five agnas you can apply to more that supporting knowledge double a double b flawless vision so by applying this knowledge supporting this knowledge tikka gnan by applying this gnan we can dissolve anger pride deceit greed attachment hatred so now our second goal we want to remain five agna but they are disturbing five agnas this all tumors or say granthi so we want to dissolve this granthi in samaik so everybody see, see all people have don't have any anger but some people may have pride i am always right i am superior than others i am something greater than others somebody i am always right i am always correct so like that so many phases of ego intellect so we have to observe which type of mistake hurts or disturbing my awareness of five agna which type of mistake somebody greed or say uh, worldly attachment uh, happiness from five senses no is there or attachment with uh, family member or say or something dharyo karu so kya insist to do whatever i am saying is always right you have to do so this type of all mistakes you have to observe everybody has all not all mistake but somebody have has more one kind of problem somebody has other type of problem somebody has other type of problem you have to see a file one we have to observe file one this type of mistake he has more big granthi big big tumor then second number third number and big tumor means brick of say man or pride somebody is a greed or say attachment for money somebody has attachment for family member so different different type of granthi is there we have to first observe which type of bigger granthi then keep awareness this type of granthi it is not dissolve in one day it will take says 5 years also 10 years also 15 years also but this type of mistake it will remain this intensity may reduce but it will come all the time in between whatever work we are doing that we have to keep observation on file 1 and this type of mistake if he do then we will ask him to do pratikaman and intensity of that mistake we will observe by samayika understood yes uh, 
So the second step is now we will watch anger or pride or deceit or greed or attachment hatred with any any work when we are doing with people this type of tumor is there or not to bola samay nahi the we will do vidhi and then we will do samay for 10 15 minute ये कर सो ना तेरा दस मिनट में क्या चीज़ टेन मिनट ओके वेरी सिंपल व्हेन वी हर्ट एनीबॉडी में हर्ट बाय अवर स्पीच और एक्शन एट द टाइम वी हैव टू सी सम टाइप ऑफ द ट्यूमर विल बी देर सम मो और प्राइड और समथिंग एंड इन समय वी वांट टू वाच दिस ट्यूमर विच टाइप ऑफ इनसिक्योरिटी और एक्सपेक्टेशंस और Attachment or uh, uh, blaming others, doership, something is there that we want to we want to find out in samai, and by practicing five agna and supporting nan, dissolve that wrong understanding. We'll do vidhi for sa samai. <coughs> Please close your eyes. Oh, Sri Sri Mandras Swami Prabhu. <coughs> oh, Dada Bhagwan. Please give me strength to see my tumors which paid me, which made me miss Fayagnas. I surrender my mind, body, speech and all karmas into the lotus feet of Simanda Swami and Dada Bhagwan. I am pure soul, 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 I am pure soul. I am pure soul, 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 I am pure soul. I am pure soul, 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 I am pure soul. I am pure soul, I am pure soul, I am pure soul, I am pure soul.